Welcome back to Day 8 of the 31 Days of Horror series. Today we're talking about Stephen King's Cat's Eye. You're not just wrong, you're stupid. Now wait just a minute. And you're ugly, just like your mom. A film that takes a different swing at the anthology game. Forget about your standard random creepy stories thrown together format. This one ties all the tales together with a fucking cat. Yeah, you heard that right. And Wandering Feline is our storyteller weaving us through three bizarre, unsettling, and just plain wild stories. So what makes Cat's Eye stand out? It's all in the way these stories are linked. Instead of slapping unrelated nightmares together, the film has the cat, of all things, as a through line. It's like Stephen King thought, how can I mess with people's heads but also give them a cute animal to focus on? The cat isn't just a casual observer. It's central to the entire narrative, and honestly, by the end of it, you're rooting for a little bastard. Now, let's dive into the three stories. First up, we got Quitters Inc., where a guy signs up to quit smoking in their program. Let's just say it's way more hardcore than nicotine patches and gum. If you smoke, they don't give you a dirty look. Oh no. They go full cycle and threaten to hurt your family. Next time you think about lining up, remember, this is some Stephen King level of consequence shit. The main character is played by James Woods, and this story is actually pretty creepy with some of the dialogue as well as the threats made against his family. It's a good one to start off with. Then we move on to the ledge, where a dude is forced to walk along the ledge of a skyscraper to settle a debt. And when I say ledge, I'm talking the kind where one misstep means you're getting an up close and personal tour of the pavement. It's like Fear Factor on steroids with Stephen King twist. Finally, we have General, where the heroic cat comes into play as a tiny defender against a creepy-ass goblin that's trying to suck the life out of a little girl. Yeah, you heard me right. There's a tiny-ass goblin fight scene with the cat. It's just insane. But it's a reminder that King can balance the terrifying with the ridiculous and make it work. The young girl is also played by a young Drew Barrymore, who's just fresh off the E.T. fame. What's great about Cat's Eye is that it's not just about the horror. It's about the tension, the what the hell is going to happen next moments that make you squirm in your seat. It's got some classic 80s cheese we love mixed with King's twisted storytelling. And the best part? It's all wrapped up in a nice little package by this wandering cat who's just trying to get through his day. So if you're looking for an anthology that doesn't take itself too seriously but still manages to creep the hell out of you, Cat's Eye is your jam. Just remember, if a stray cat crosses your path, maybe pay attention. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.